Hi and welcome to a first basic maneuver we will fly in this series. I'm Raku and I will guide you through it. And the maneuver is called the aileron roll and it's simply that, a roll with our ailerons, a roll around our own axis. It does actually look that simple, but there are exactly two things you can do wrong and you most probably will do wrong if nobody tells you. Let's skip the whole theory and how do I fly that thing part and jump straight into the pit. I will now just do what everyone would do intuitively if told to fly that maneuver. Fly straight and level and just deflect my stick full left or right. See what happened? We didn't come out as straight as we entered it. We came out in a nose down attitude and lost a considerable amount of height. TechView actually confirms that. So, instead of just rolling around, we will apply a little bit of pitch beforehand. Around 5 degrees depending on the type of aircraft you are flying. We are sitting in an L39ZA and I pull the stick for about 10 degrees of pitch. Apply the pitch with a fast pull on the stick and then deflect it full left or right. You see, we come out quite as we entered the roll, straight and level. That's secret number one. Secret number two is a bit hard to show in an L39ZA, but I think a theoretical explanation will be just as good. It's not difficult. You have to release the pressure on the stick and center it before your wings are level again. Depending on the type of aircraft, you will have a big or small roll inertia, and if you center your stick right when you finish the... the uh, <coughs> Excuse me, right when you finished the 360 degrees, you will continue to roll due to the inertia. So just release the stick when you rolled about 345 or 350 degrees. As said before, depending on the type of aircraft. Let's have a look at the rolls in tech view. First, the negative example with no pitch applied. You can see how we lost some height and come down in nose down attitude. Second, the aileron roll how it should be. And that's it for today. The last advice I can give you is practice it. As easy as it seems, practice it with the type of aircraft you usually fly and want to engage in combat with. And of course the very last advice actually is, subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any maneuver videos. So have fun rolling around and see you next time.